one day I will learn how to do this. Okay, here we go. So just a couple like housekeeping things, let everybody know what's going on. So this year I am definitely going to make a time to be more regular with team calls. So I'm shooting for right now, Monday nights, 8.30, this will be the time, but just the first and the third Monday of every month. Um, I kind of I kind of feel pretty bad that I didn't do it regularly last year. Um, that was like my own weird issue with it. Like I always put things off because I don't feel like I do them very well. And this is one of them because I don't like, I don't, I, I don't do like, if I tried to make uh, like slides and stuff, that would take me like, oh, I don't know, like a week. So I don't do that. And then I feel like it's all like, oh, I don't have anything to say anybody, so I don't do it. So I'm kind of just like getting past my own little fear with that and just going to suck it up and bring you what I got. And you just have to deal with me mumbling and mumbling all over whatever I'm saying. So yes, first and third Monday, 8.30s, that's what we're shooting for. The next thing is I'm going to be starting a team newsletter. It's probably going to go out twice a month, like mid-month and end of the month, um, just kind of giving you heads up on things that are going on, challenge groups, uh, what's on sale for the month, like just kind of keeping every, trying to keep everybody in the loop. Hopefully that will be like an easy way to do it. That way it just gets pushed out to everybody. You have the calendar of what's going on. Um, and like all important updates things. And I'll probably even add in, hopefully, like recognition stuff like mid-month. Um, we're gonna be focusing a lot on the leadership ladder. So that's why it's like mid-month once I get the updates on that, that'll be on there. Um, the other thing is, we're gonna try to do some team personal development this year, because I think that'll help me stay on track with it. And then I think that'll help everybody else. And I really think it's something that's super important that is really easy to skip. I skipped it for a long time, but it makes a big difference um, in your business when you do it consistently. So I want to start with the 10X rule by Grant Cardone. So if you don't have it yet, um, download it on Audible or um, you can uh, buy the book. I guess people actually read real books. <laughs> I don't. But um, I actually did order the book too, even though I've already listened to the whole thing on audio because... I just want to kind of look at a few things and highlight and that kind of stuff as we're, as I'm going through it with you guys. So you guys are going to actually make me read a book. So that's a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to start with. If anybody has any suggestions of what to do next or something that you've done that you've liked, you want to go over with again, um, let me know, shoot me a message and we'll put it on the list. Um, the next thing is I'm moving my, my uh, big group challenge group. The 30 day groups are going to start now on the third Monday of every week. So um, this month, that's the 18th. So that will be our next 30-day group. And I just want to do a quick reminder. I hope everybody has set their 90-day goals uh, for the first quarter and you have that all mapped out. If you don't, talk to your personal sponsor coach or come to me and we'll make sure we get them mapped out for you so that you guys um, are like rocking and rolling from the get-go of this year because really what you do in the first month is going to just Hello, puppy. I heard a puppy. Sorry, I don't know how to mute myself. Oh, I can figure that out. It's Hi, these pup. two. They're crazy. Um, I think I always forget how to do that. No, that's me. Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, oh, get to just, the stop. there we go. Okay, I got it now. Okay. <laughs> Mute all. Ta-da! Yes, there we go. All right. I did it. I don't know how to get that out of the way now. There we go. Okay, so, so those are kind of the updates. Oh, oh and uh, if you guys didn't see my post, check out the Goal Wizard app by Brian Tracy. Um, I downloaded it. It's free in the App Store, and it's really great. Um, I really enjoyed it. It sends me little messages each day like it'll be like um what is something that really it's really positive that happened today so it kind of helps you focus on uh, and keep your goals all in front of you and everything so i really really like that um a nice little tool to work with your goals for this year so now on to volume so volume is really like let's face it everybody that's here right now um whether i talked to you when you signed up or i didn't you're probably here to make money like, can I get a show of hands, right, everybody? I mean, yes, we all want to help people. Absolutely. We love that. I mean, that's what keeps us going and doing this. But 
we're putting time and effort into this. This is our business and I don't know any business that doesn't want to make money, right? So if you want to make money, you have to have volume. You do not want to be that five-star coach that doesn't even make a thousand dollars a week. Like you don't want, like you don't want to put all that work in that gets to that point and the responsibility that comes with being at that point and not be having a, a solid income that you can rely on. So it, it's very, I want to say like, I, I see it happens a lot. Like I think Meg said she even, there's like a coach that she post, like follows recently that she said, you know, just hit that milestone. That's five star elite for last year. And she yeah. just hit a thousand dollars a week. Um, and I'm sitting over here as a one star diamond way past that. So I don't know, you got to decide, I mean, if you are really all about the recognition and the rank and walk around saying, yeah, I'm however many stars, but you're not making any money, then maybe this call's not for you. So you can just like get off. I don't care. Um, I don't want to waste anyone's time if this is not what you want to hear. But if you want to actually earn an income, you've got to focus on your volume and get your team to focus on the volume. And so I want to make sure everybody kind of knows where volume comes from, right? So your volume comes from any product that you purchase or sell. That is your personal volume, your PV. Okay. So every single thing in the world of Beachbody that we can purchase has a volume amount attached to it. So, you know, there's things that are 15 PV. There's things that are 105. It's, it's all variable. I made myself some notes up here. I know you can't see them, but, um, sorry. And now I'm tripping over things. Um, so a customer, anything that they buy, we get, you know, a 25% commission, but that's 25% of the volume, the total volume of what the, the product is that they buy. Um, and if it's, if they're a club member, we only get 15% because remember they're getting a discount. All club members get 10% off. So we get the other 15%. That makes that 25 up. Um, so basically that's where that like, you know, I'm not great with math, but you know, like your 32, was it 32 49 for Shakeology is what we make for commission. And that's 25% of the, the 129.95. So every single thing we have has, volume connected to it. Now, volume gets really fun when you get to Emerald because that's when you can start getting team cycle bonuses. And this is when your volume, now wait, before I get there, this is probably why people do like things because they don't do this. But anyway, um, the reason you don't wanna like forget about volume before then, before you get to Emerald, is because as you're, you're every week, whether you're selling or there's people being added underneath of you, even if they're not yours, you know, other people in your upline on your strong leg are adding people, that's all creating volume. As long as you stay active, that volume is going to go to your volume rollover bank. So there's a little bank. And if you actually go into my business, my volume, you can go into my rollover volume and see what you have sitting there. And you might be surprised if you've been active for a while and not cycling, how much you have there. There's a, there could be a lot, and that's basically all money that you have opportunities to access once you become Emerald and above and can start cycling. So when I got to the point that I started finally cycling, I think I already had something crazy like over 100,000 volume points sitting there. So if you divide that by, you know, even just $14 per cycle in, um, as an emerald, that's a lot of money that's just sitting there, just waiting to be used. So as long as you stay active, that keeps accumulating. If you go yeah. inactive, that gets wiped out. I think I figured it out. It's like 6,500 bucks. Oh, for you? Yeah. About yeah, 100,000. Right just volume. sitting there. Just sitting there. Waiting. Like, come waiting. and get me. That's right. Not going inactive anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, no, you better not. I will kill you. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Um, so yeah, you, and that's like something really good to, you know, remind your coaches and your downline too. It's like if, you know, they are working the business and they're considering, you know, not purchasing something for the month, 
make sure that they're doing something, either selling something or whatever they need to do to get that 50 PV to stay active so that they don't lose that potential money that's sitting there because it can get wiped out. Like there's somebody in my downline who's very high on my, on my strong leg and she went inactive and lost all of it. And it was a lot, a lot. Um, volume requirements by rank, what you need to stay active. As a coach, you need 50. 50 PV every five weeks has to be there, either something that you buy or something that you sell directly to a customer. Um, Emerald's the same thing. You only need 50. When you get to Ruby, you need 75. When you get to Diamond, you need 100. And when you get to Star Diamond and above, you need 200. So just some numbers to keep in mind because um, most of the time, if you're actively working your business and you're on Shakeology, this is not going to be an issue for you. It can get a little tricky sometime down the road when you have a lot of customers and maybe three people decide to return things at the same time, that could mess with your volume a little bit. So those are things you do have to watch as you get down the road. Now, when you advance in rank and you get to Emerald, we've probably talked about this before, or you've heard about it, but that's when you start getting your team cycle bonuses. And basically that means that you can get extra money based on the volume created by your team. So you take your volume gives your, gives you your retail commission. So that's one part of your paycheck. But then you have this other part that says team cycle bonus. And that comes from your personally sponsored coaches. And wait, it's one, two, three levels down at all of those coaches. So not just your personally sponsored, but theirs and then theirs. Anything that they're doing, that creates that team volume for you. And all that goes into your bank. You've got a right side, you've got a left side. Whichever side your strong side, they'll take 200 from. And your weak side, they'll take 100 from. And every time they can do that, as an emerald, you get $14. As a ruby, you get $16. As a diamond and above, you get 18 There's different um, max where you can max out with that. So at... Emerald, it's 250 a week. So you can cycle and cycle and cycle until you hit 250. Anything that's left over, you do not lose it. It just goes into your rollover for the next week. And that's no matter what. Like, so if you cycle once, but you still have a thousand on, on your strong leg, that's just gonna roll over to your strong leg for the next week and keep rolling over again as long as you stay active. So Ruby's a Ruby max can max out at a thousand dollars per week. Again. So this is why it's like people get so excited to like push, push, push for rank, but it's like, if you don't have that volume, like why, 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 why are you pushing so hard for the rank when you could be earning up to a thousand dollars a week as Ruby, you know, don't kill yourself over the rank. If the rank comes great, but in the meantime, push the, for the volume, push that volume. So you are maxing out potential, your potential of what you can be earning each week as a diamond. It goes up to 2000. Um, and then it pretty much adds a thousand with every rank above that. So like five star, I think is seven and I think, yeah, it just keeps going up. So that's your potential, what you can earn each week with them. Sorry, I heard one of my kids yelling. I think they're just yelling at each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, oh, and then there's one other thing you can earn from based on volume and it's your matching bonus. So once you have coaches underneath of you that are earning that team cycle bonus from their coaches each week, as a if you're a Ruby coach, you will get 5% of whatever that coach's team cycle bonus is for the week. So if that coach's bonus is $1,000, then you get 5% of that. As a diamond and above coach, if you, um, you get 10% of anything that your coaches cycle on. So it's just another way you get to make a little extra money off of the volume from your coaches. Um, what do I want to talk about next? So the, the way you drive volume is you, it's constantly, you have to be selling. Like we have, to, you have to be in, going out, reaching out to people, trying to find new customers constantly. But 
a great place that we, I think a lot of people neglect pretty easily um, that you have to go to for volume are your discount coaches. I mean, people, it's like, yeah, they're discount and you think they're just happy and enjoying, but it's very easy to forget about them that they're still your customer. And that's pretty much all they are is like, they're, they're just a customer. They're just enjoying their discount and they obviously love the products or else they wouldn't sign up as a discount coach. So you want to make sure that you're keeping them in the loop when new products come out, you're making them aware of it. Um, you're checking in with them on a regular basis to see if they, you know, are they still on their Shakeology? Do they want to switch it up? Do they want to try a boost out? Like, you know, just offer them different things. And if you don't ask, then it's not going to happen. And if you do ask and they don't want it, they say no. And you say, okay, I'll talk to you next time. You know, it's not like a big deal. You can't be afraid to put yourself out there to people. That's something I've done for way too long. I've been like, oh, I don't want to bother anybody, but that doesn't advance your business. So it's just something we're all going to have to get over. Um, I know, I know easier said than done. Right. But seriously, seriously. Um, cause if we all did that, like just think if everybody got off of this and you all got one person in your downline, like to go buy something tomorrow, like everybody's volume is going to go up by that much because it just keeps adding on. So, um, and the thing is, is if you're going out and you're constantly reaching for people, Challenge packs are great. I think it comes out to about like what we make off a challenge pack is about 36%. So it's always great to sell, to sell a challenge pack. One, because, you know, we know that they, that's the way they're going to get the best results by using Shakeology and doing a program and we get success club points from it. So that's great. But if they just can't commit to all of it right now, that's okay. They can still do something else. You know, make sure you offer them just the product by itself if they don't want the shape. Or, you know, on demand is another great option that's a really great thing to sell to people. And we get, I think, a 50% commission on club memberships. So is it 40 or 50? 40, right? It's 40. 40% yeah. on club memberships. So it's like, you know, you might as well, it's like, it's an easy thing that you can give people where they get so much for so little money, but it's a consistent thing that will come in over and over again. And then they sense they become a club member they have 10% off all products. So you're more likely to get them to buy something again down the road. So it's just a matter of constantly putting these things in front of people. The more you put it in front of people, the more likely they are to buy something. And then the more likely you will be to grow your team from that. And so if you're doing that, and even if you only have two coaches that are actually working the business underneath of you, or even just one, if you're both doing that, I mean, that's going to make a difference. It's the compound effect over time. The more and more you do that, the more you sell, the more you go out, the more people you're getting in front of, the more your team's going to grow, the more your volume's going to grow, and the more your income's going to grow. Does that make sense to people? <laughs> okay, I'm getting some head now. Okay. Um, so I think that's kind of my whole spiel. I told you I was going to be quick. Uh, so now do you guys just want to do some questions? Like, does anybody have any questions about anything? Just, I can, you just unmute yourself. And cause clearly I'm really good at that. Can I add something? Ian? Yeah, yeah, sure. The only other thing that is a good, um, a good indicator for driving up your volume is when you have coaches signed up underneath you, make sure that they're hitting success club. If your coaches that are signed up underneath you are hitting success club, that drives mad volume for you as well. You'll almost, like in the long run, like it's more important to me now where I am to have more of my coaches hitting Success Club than it is for me to hit like, let's say Success Club 20. Like Success Club 20 is cool, but I'm going to earn more and I'm going to earn more consistent paychecks by helping my team. So I hit Success Club for myself and then I go help my team hit Success Club. I use that time and resources like a little bit differently because yeah. the more coaches you have underneath you hitting Success Club, the more volume you're going to have. Yes. And if we're talking, like, I, I didn't want to get too <clears throat> advanced because, I mean, but I, I'm seeing who's on here and there are some coaches that have been around for a long time. So um, if you, this is like the first time you're hearing this stuff, like, don't freak out because it takes a while to let it all soak in. So we talked about, you probably heard people talking about signing up your spouse or significant other or mom or sister, whoever that you can use as a person to one, get to Emerald fast or to just build your business. 
because you can actually, so the way I have my business set up is there's me and then there's Brian is on my, my weak leg. And then I got my second business center when I went two star. And then I put that on the inside of, um, his or on his weak leg. So when I sell something under my second business center, I get the, I get the commission there. I get the volume. That volume also cycles through Brian and then it cycles through my first business center. So I make three times as much off of one, one product being sold because of the way I set up my business. So this is why we, you probably heard people talking about it is because you can maximize the volume of each sale just by the way you set up your business and then putting your orders in through that. So if you have a significant other and they are not signed up, I highly, highly recommend getting them up there. What the what, what? You need to listen to that again. Okay. All right. So Katie, like, let's say, so you've got Dan signed up on your week. Like, so just right now, if you, if you sell something under Dan and he gets that commission. So if he were Emerald, he would cycle off the volume. So say $14 and then you're an Emerald and you'd cycle off of that volume too. So it's like you make two cycles off of one sale. You get the commission and you cycle from it. Does that make sense? And then when you get that second business center and you put that in under there, then you get it from there and there and there. And then you can just, as you keep growing and then like Megan's got Jason's second business center almost ready to open soon. So then she'll have another one and it'll be like, boom, 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 boom. And it's going to be like this little ping pong thing. And she's going to make a whole bunch of money off of one sale. It's crazy, but it's how it works. Like I was going through my back office and like, I'm, it's, it's crazy. Cause if you, do you know, you can click on your volume and you can see who's contributing to your volume. So if you go to my volume and you open that up and then you'll see your left and your right leg, you can click on each one of those and you can see the names of the people that are contributing to that volume. So like I can see somebody's name that's in the volume under my second business center and they're under my husband's business center and they're under my first business center. So it's like I make off of them from each, each business center. Yeah, Meg. Meg earns $86 a challenge pack. So do you recommend having people buy under him? Yes, absolutely. There, I mean, yeah, if you want to go after, again, this is whole, you got to decide where you're at. Like, are you building for income or are you building for ranking and recognition? So you could be a success club 10 all-star or legend if you want to be, or you can make more money by getting yourself to success club five and then putting everything else under your, I mean, under your, your husband. And also what I would always do too, is like, if you have somebody that just decides, yeah, I just want to get the fix and not Shakeology, which we all know is insane, but they do. And you just put that order under him. So at least that goes there and then you cycle off that too. So you make extra money off of just selling the product. Do you tell the challenger their coach is your husband, but really you? Yes. Yes. Um, Mary. So yeah, I, I tell them, I'm like, Oh yeah, you're going to be under my husband, but it's really me. I'm just using his name as part of my business. No one ever seems to care. I haven't had anyone been like, Oh my God, I actually forgot to tell somebody one time and I put her under my husband and she's like, so when I logged in, it said, is your husband like was, was my coach? And like, how's that? I'm like, Oh yeah, sorry. I put you there. And it was like, I explained it and they're fine. Like it's not, it, it really hasn't been a big, I don't know. Meg, do, do you ever have an issue with anybody with that? I've never had an issue with it. And actually it usually becomes kind of like a little joke for me before I send the link. I'm like, so you're going to see my husband's name, but don't yeah. worry. He doesn't even know his own password. Yeah. I'm the boss around here. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and I know some coaches will say their husband and their husbands do like help out in the background and stuff like mine, like is, is like my, like I might even be more disconnected than Jason. <laughs> like he has no clue. I was like, honey, you're a diamond coach. He's like, what does that mean? So, um, and I have a question. Yeah, sure. Um, sorry, I was going to type it and I just, I can't. It's easier. Um, so when I look at my volume and I look at my left volume and I click on that, 
and then it has people that aren't underneath me. So do I make money off them? So you're, you're in under your volume. Yeah. And then I and click then on my left volume, the LV. Yeah. And then like, there's people that, um, aren't under any of my personally sponsored coaches. Yeah. They're not in your direct downline. Yeah. Right. So it's anybody on that left leg. Oh, and I, you can still make money off them. Is somebody screen sharing? Somebody is. <laughs> I can't. Katie's in screen share. Katie, you're in screen share. Did you ever figure out how to get the Audible app? <laughs> <laughs> Katie! <laughs> but yeah, so we'll just talk. Um, Lindsay, yeah. So all of those people that you see, they're all contributing to your volume. Oh, nice. Um, that, okay. So if that, like, if that LV is a thousand and like, you'll see somebody has 180, somebody has 90, somebody has 240 or whatever, like all that is where that, that number, that big number, when you log in and it says LV 1000, yeah, that, that's where that number comes from. That's the breakdown of it. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Sure. My kids are being not quiet, which means they're not sleeping. Yeah, you fixed it. <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay, does anybody else have any questions? If you guys have questions, I want to really encourage you guys to ask them because I feel like I just now understand this. And I sat on lots of calls like this and I watched lots of calls like this and I did lots of trainings. And there was always something, this is what I would say. I would sit there and I think to myself, I don't freaking understand, but oh well. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on signing coaches. And I wish I had understood it better because I think my income could be even better, which is crazy to say, but um, it's important. So I know that everyone probably has a question. So just please ask it. Like, I don't want you to be like me or like Ange and all of a sudden it's August and we spent all, you know, the first eight months of the year building a business and wish that you had done something different because yeah. you didn't understand. So make sure you understand it now. That way you can use that information to build a solid, stable income earning business this year. Like I have a crazy, huge income goal for this year. Like ridiculous. Um, I set the bar high for me and I, you know, originally I was like, oh yeah, I want to, I want to, um, you know, yeah, maybe I should push for 15 star or something. And then I was like, you know what? Like that's, I don't really care about the recognition and stuff. Like. Yeah, it's, it's nice, but it's not like going to get my husband to quit a second job. So what I want to do is I want to make money. So I set my goals based on that and I broke my big goal down. I figured out what percentage of my income from 2015 I made in each quarter. And then I broke that down. And so it was like 15% in the first quarter, I think 25 yeah, 15, then 20, then 30, then 35. So that's how like my year last year broke up, broke down to what I totally need. So I broke down my goals based on that. So I was like, okay, so I need to earn 15% of my goal in the first quarter. So I figured out what that was and then broke that down to each month and then figured out where I need to be with that. And really it's like all that comes down to volume. It's like our volume is almost there anyway. So it wasn't, it's not going to be like, it's not like a huge crazy push for me right now which was kind of shocking to me to begin with. Um, but, you know, I don't need to be 15 star to hit this crazy, ridiculous, amazing, like if I hit this income goal this year, I'll be like crapping my pants and it would be totally amazing. So, but I don't need to be 15 star to do that. Like I don't need to be anywhere close to that because it's like, if I have the volume, I can probably do it somewhere around five star. Not saying that I would stop there. It's like, if you know, it, that's the thing. It's like, I think, I really do think, and I looked at it over and over again, and I think if you push your volume, your rank will follow. Because if, you're vol if everyone's producing, if people are going out there and they're creating volume and they're hitting success club, they're, they're going to build their teams. And if you're building your teams, then everyone's rank is going to advance. Um, and I think that's why there's a lot more focus that started to happen on Tells you a crazy goal. <laughs> all right. All right. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. 
no, I, I forgot where I was. Um, oh, hold on. Let me, let, wait, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Okay. But one thing at a time. So I think this is why I'm, I'm switching up how I want to do training with our team and with new coaches as they come in. I think we really need to focus on the leadership ladder because I think that is more volume income produce, growing your team, becoming a leader of your team. Like that, that's where it's focused. I feel like rank is just kind of like rank. Yay. Rank is awesome. What does it mean? You know, it's kind of like, yay, I worked so hard. I got to diamond and I got to diamond. Okay. What do I do now? You know, and it's like, I think a lot of people think, oh, I get to diamond, we're making money. And not necessarily. You can be diamond and really not making very much money at all, depending on how your business is set up. So I think if we teach this at the beginning, focus on the volume, focus on getting yourself out there, hitting success club. Those are really the basics and that it'll all just come from there. Okay, now I got to go back to the chat. I totally agree. I mean, I think you can absolutely have it both ways. So if I, so like, if I said to you guys all today, like, if you could wake up tomorrow with a thousand dollar a week paycheck or be a five star diamond coach, which would you choose? You would choose the thousand dollar a week paycheck, obviously, because that makes more sense. But if you're building a volume producing team, you're you're building a team that's producing. So it'll happen, but the income will come first. So you'll get your income and the rank will catch up to that, which is what's happening to me. I could have ended this year a five-star elite coach, but I chose to build for income instead of rank, which is why I have seven diamonds spread out over three business centers. So no, I'm not going to be celebrated next week, but I'm making about $600 more a week than a five-star diamond coach in a market council group that I'm in right now. Right. So I'd rather have $2,000 a month and I'll be elite next year. And make him even more money. That's where I am. I mean, I'm. I'm like, hey, yeah, you have a rank. I've got money in the bank. So it's not that you have to make that firm line in the sand. Like, okay, so I'm going to choose for income no. and never have rank. You can have it both ways. But what do you want first? Do you want to stand up at Summit, or do you want that money in the bank? I want the money in the bank, and I'll stand up at Summit next year. And that's what I mean. It's like, you know, if you want the rank and the recognition, there is nothing wrong with that. If that's where you are. Like, that's great. And go for it. And I'm more than willing to help you get there and get and tell you what you need to do to make that happen. But I, I you know, that's just not how I'm choosing to build my business. So my goal for this year is to hit the $300,000 mark. And it's totally bananas crazy to me to think that that's possible, but it's actually very possible just based on how, how my business is. Like I said, I'm pretty much on track for my first quarter earnings, which would be $45,000 in three months. So, I mean, and I'm a one-star diamond coach, <laughs> like a paid official one-star diamond coach, you know? So, and that's possible with that. And it's like, so, because I have a great team under me with people who are producing and people who are, are going out there and they're, they're working the business. Do I have a huge, huge team? Like, no, I think if you broke my team down and Megan's team down, Meg has way more personally sponsored coaches than I do. Way more. Um, I don't know what your numbers are in it, Meg, but I know you have a lot crap ton more than I do, but it's like, you don't, you don't need a ton and ton and ton. You just need a few key players. So the way you're going to find those key players is if you just keep going out there and putting it all out in front of people, get them to try the products, get them to fall in love with the products. And it, it'll come from there. You know, your best coaches come from challengers. Most people don't just fall out of the sky and are like, yeah, I want to coach. Sometimes they do, but most often they come from your challengers. I have key players in each one of my business centers, which is why I make so much money. Right. Because I spread them all out instead of putting them all in one place. Right. And yeah, I, like, and that is definitely something you have to strategically think about. And I'm pretty sure for the majority of this past year, like every time Meg had somebody, then she was like, I think this person's going to work really hard. Where should I put them? And I would tell her, you know, either under Jason or under your second business, <laughs> center, depending on where she was. And she's like, oh, but it might be diamond. And I want to put them in my first. I'm like, I know, but you want to make money, right? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, then put them in the other place. <laughs> Yeah. So it's really hard. It gets, it can get really hard, especially when you see other people, you know, getting 
you know, announcements or rank advancements and stuff, and that's all great, but it's like, you, again, you got to keep in mind why you're doing this and why you're here. And if you're here because you want to make income for yourself, for your family, then you got to be smart about where you're putting things, people, in your downline, how you build it up. So, yeah, and I think that, like, that's so huge. Like, hit Success Club 5 put everything else underneath your spouse or your significant other or your mom or whoever it is that's in your business. Like who cares if you have success cup 20? I mean, it's, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. But you could have also made how much more money. Oh, what are you doing up? Okay. Like five minutes of reading. It's late. Go to bed. Yeah. Sorry, being a mom. Um, okay, put, put my work hat back on now. Um, which I don't remember where it was, so somebody else. Anybody, questions, anyone? I'm gonna ask a question for one of my coaches. So Laura <laughs> Dieter, she is a rock solid diamond. I think she has like 10 or 11 active coaches underneath her. Um, she's got two strong, super producing emeralds on each leg. So signing her spouse is an option, right? But where where would we put him? Do we wait until she gets the second CBC and figure out when the weak leg is then, or do we do it now? Oh, she doesn't know which which leg is. She doesn't really have a weak leg. Bitch, no, I'm volume. Just so volume, <laughs> volume, you're even, Laura. Your is your volume like even every week? Pretty much. Hold on, I think I have a screenshot of it from today. struggle with this muting situation um but yeah like i'm looking at my volume right now and i would look at that what you told me to look at the carryover volume is no, that what i'm thinking of someone yeah. else so her right is her weak leg no you want to no you just go into my volume and when you pull that up like you'll look across and it'll say left lv rv okay so whichever one is higher is technically your strong leg. Now that can flip like, so that, and yeah, you can do it from, you can check your carry over, carry over volume and whichever one has a ton sitting there. That's very clearly your strong leg. Um, but you know, like my goal is right now, cause I still have a crap ton of volume sitting on my right leg. Like I'm building my left leg. I'm just like building and building and building and building my left leg, which is why I have like, you know, almost three diamonds sitting over there. And, I haven't built any more on my right other than the ones that are already there because I want that volume to drive up. I want to double. I really do want that to become my strong leg so that it can suck all that volume out that's sitting there and start, I can stickle it all out before it disappears. I see what you're saying. So you, I just pulled that up and you can totally see that. Yeah. It's very clear that the right leg is my weak leg. Yeah. yeah so that's where you're going to want to put Jason. So you want to put him there. Um, what you want to do though is whoever your rock star is on that side, I would plant him up underneath of them. Like you can okay. place them under him, under that person, so that not only does then anything you build under him help that person that's working, but as that person continues to build, that's going to build under him too. I can show you how to do that too. It's really easy. Okay. And I have a question about the... Um, it has to be done before you sign him, though. It's, yes. it's part of your preferred placement. Yes. So don't sign him without telling me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so going back to that left and right volume and I, how I said that my left volume has people under me that um, aren't my personally sponsored coaches. Now I'm looking at my right, and there's no one that is not my personally sponsored coach, and that's my weak leg. Is, yes. there, is that a problem? <laughs> no, because no, that, that means then there's nobody like, so nobody on your right leg has any team members. Like they haven't signed any coaches. Huh? Because that, that's the only people, the only person contributing to your right leg right now is you. So like you're the only person adding coaches and the only other way there'll be any other coaches or if your personally sponsored coaches are adding coaches onto their right leg, onto that right leg as well. Which, okay. But well, like, Okay. All right. Hold on. I'll draw it out for you. Hold on. I can draw and then I'll pull it here. And I can't help her with that. 
No. Because. And I can screen share too to show you what I mean because. Like here's Meg and then on Meg's left is Lindsay. Okay, so then Lynn, like, so then let's just say, you know, uh, Megan added somebody, then Lindsay added somebody, Megan, you're on my leg, then so Ange added somebody, and it just keeps going like that. I don't, can you guys see that? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to try to, like, this get our bifocals on. All right. <laughs> it's like Meg's here, and like I'm up here. <laughs> so then I've got Meg, and then Meg added Lindsay. And then it's like, just as anybody on this side keeps adding coaches, we just keep going down the line here, right? So it's like Meg added somebody, Lindsay added somebody, I added somebody, Sarah's over there too, so she added somebody. So like, it just keeps building over there. So then here is your right leg. So whoever your first coach on your right leg is, is there. And the only other person building this leg is you. So it's like, these, it's just your coach, your coach, like that. You may get, like, so say then this coach adds somebody before you add somebody else. That'll be their coach there. But then you can add somebody, and then they, maybe they add somebody else. But those are the only way you're getting anybody on that side. Oh. So this is why it's good to put your spouse on the weak leg, because if you have spouse here at the top, of your weak leg, then as that weak leg builds, everything goes under there. And then you get your second business center and you put it over here. And then any orders you put here are gonna go here and they're gonna build his volume and then they're gonna build your volume. So that's gonna help you cycle here and then here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I'm super visual, so um I can't, I can't make slides for you, but I can draw on a whiteboard. <laughs> so, all right. Anybody else? Uh, I saw a couple hands. Who, Lise? All right, question. So, if Mark's on my left leg, and that's my stronger leg right now, then do I want to, like, beef up my right leg? Yes. Because, okay. Yeah, so he'll, yeah, so you, you build your cycle bonus. Whatever side is, is your weak, like, um, but I'm trying to think where Mark is, like, yeah, so you would just want to build the opposite side. Hold on. I'm going to pull him up real quick. Okay. I think I had it opened here, trying to be prepared for tonight, but you know how that goes. <laughs> and then Laura just asked, when do you open a second business center? When you go two star. That is you. a perk of going two star. And guys, for the record, I know we heard that the two star bonus is going away, and I'm pretty sure that's not true. Yeah, I asked Jeff Pearson, and he said no. So and I, everything I in the back know. office still says that it's there. So, I mean, I'm sure Meg and I can confirm when we go to leadership. But, and again, but if you're building for volume, it's going to be like, oh, okay, great, another 700, 800 bucks, whatever. You know, I mean, every quarter. It's like whatever when you're getting that every week. Wouldn't you rather have it every week? So, um, hold on. Going down, down, down. No, we're still, we're still getting it. So Lisa's on Jason's left. That was bad information. And then Mark is on. Okay. Oh, I see. So Mark is on your left. Yeah, Lisa, then I would just look at your volume and just go that based off of that. Like if you have, um, do you, have you checked, do you have carryover volume sitting anywhere? I don't have a ton of carryover volume left. Like I don't, I can tell you what it was. Hold on. That's really what you would want to look at and base off of that. And then if that's like, if you've wiped that out, then I would just start building. Yeah. My carry over volume last time on the left was 221 and on the right was 44. Okay. So technically, your left is your stronger that's, leg right now. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, you you can really build either way. Okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't at this point. It doesn't really matter. I you know, I, I might even say just start building Mark. Like you know, if you have any more discount coaches, just put them under him and start building him. Yeah. So that, so that then you can start cycling. Like when you put orders under him. Yeah. You can build that way. And then if that leg becomes stronger, a lot stronger, then you can focus on building the other leg, you know? Yeah. Well, and you also want Mark to hit success club for elite because you're going to get elite points off Mark this year only, and then he's done. Yeah, that's a whole other call. <laughs> yeah, that is all other call. But yes, for those of you, which should be most of you, Tomorrow. anyone that's on this call right now could shoot for elite this year if you want to. And you double your elite points when you hit success club. But if you have your spouse signed up, then you can, you know, you basically, that's why another reason you hit five and then you add under them and get them to success club. Cause that, and the amount of your personally sponsored coaches who okay. hit success club is very, very, very important when getting elite points or premier points, but let's focus on elite points. Cause nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <Meg>. <laughs> <laughs> this is another quick question. Sorry. I signed a coach under Mark today and that should give me my 50 PV for him. Right. Because he's Emerald. If they bought a challenge pack. Yes, they did. But it's still showing him as inactive. It well, won't it won't flip over until Thursday. Oh, okay. Okay. And he's only red. He's projected inactive. So when they're red, when you look at your downline, you see somebody says that red in it there says inactive in red, and that's telling you they are projected to go inactive this coming Thursday if they do not buy or sell something worth whatever PV, 50 PV. Ah. Okay. All right. Cool. Anybody else? And wrap it up. If there aren't any more questions, was this helpful to you guys? Explain things a little bit. So, um, do you want to know what I just heard? The Let Success me. Club trip is in Punta Cana at the Moon Palace Resort next year, or not the Moon Palace, the Hard Rock. Oh, the Moon Palace is where it was last year, where we were. Moon, yeah, it's at the Hard Rock. Oh, cool. So it's not on a boat. That's better. No, it's in the Dominican at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Sweet. I know. I'd rather do that than a cruise. That's for sure. Yeah, I wasn't really digging the cruise. I passed on my tickets. I'm still waiting to get off the list. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Thank you. I can't. It's a bad week. Hopefully next year's. Uh, I want to know what week it is. I think it's in April. Yeah, I know, they, but they always are like a week off of when my kids are actually on break. There's two waves, and Yeah, I, oh, so that might be, that might actually work in my favor then. Because this, this year, it's the week before my kids are on break, and I, it's like, I can't go away the week before, and then it just doesn't, it doesn't work like that, so whatever. Again, have to be a mom, whatever. Um, all right, so does anybody else have any questions? that they might want to ask or you know you can feel free if you think of something later just shoot me a message i'll get back to you bye thanks and you're welcome thank you guys for getting on i hope you found this helpful and i it did record it so when i get to flipping that over i'll put it up so anyone else you guys can share it um with your downline or whoever else may have missed it and wants to catch it the replay okie dokie thanks Ange. You're welcome, guys. Bye.